Hello, folks. Today, uh, we are going to use PhotoP, which is an in-browser Photoshop clone, to make a little dude who looks like this. He's a potato that's a head. There should be a name for that. And to make this guy, we're going to have to learn how to use layers. We're going to have to learn how to use the lasso tool. And we're going to have to uh, copy things and paste them and transform them. So let's get started. So we'll start with our file. We're already at photop.com. I'm just going to go to File and Open. I'm going to open the file I'm going to start with, which is a potato. And I picked a potato that was already cut out and it's already on a layer all by itself. In general, that's easier. Uh, we'll talk about it in a minute, but pick stuff that's on its own. So we got a potato. Let's put some eyes on it. And for the eyes, I think I'm gonna use a tomato. So we could use a tomato like one of these guys, but these you're gonna find are pretty hard to cut out. You can do it, but it'll take you some time. So I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to close that. And instead, I'm going to use this tomato that someone's already cut out for me. Now I want to select just the tomato because if I try and paste in this whole picture here, I'll do it really quick. If I try to paste in the whole picture and I try to resize this to put it over the top, it's got this big white space all around it, and we don't want that. So that won't do. Let's get rid of that layer and go back. So I want to select just the tomato and not the background. We have a bunch of different tools we can do this with. It's actually super easy when it's on a white background like this. Um, but I'm going to show you a couple different ways. The first thing I'm going to show you is the quick selection tool. It's over here in your selections. Go for quick selection. And then you have a brush. And what you do is you take that brush and you brush inside what you want to take. And if it's nicely cut out like this, uh, you'll get the little uh, edge around the outside. In Photoshop, these move around and they're called the marching ants. Here, they don't move. So we're just going to call them ants. So your ants are around the part you want it to keep. And we want to put it in the other picture. So I'm going to copy this. I could go up to edit and click copy, but you'll notice right here, it says control C. That's a shortcut we can use instead. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just press control C and that copied it into the computer's memory. Now we're going to go back over to the potato picture and we're going to paste it in control V. So now we've got our tomato, but I want it to be an eye. It's way too big to be an eye and it's not in the right place. So we're going to have to change this. We're going to have to transform it. So we're going to go up to edit and we're going to go to free transform. And you'll notice free transform has a shortcut too. alt control T. So I could do that as well. But since I'm here, I'm just going to click free transform. And now we can move it. And by grabbing one of these handles, we can change the size of it. We can even uh, float just outside the edge of it and we'll get these arrows that'll let us turn it. So I'm gonna move it the way I want it, make it the right size, go in the middle, put it where I want it to be. That's pretty good, yeah, right about there. And then when it's where I want, I'm gonna press enter. Might be return on your computer. Now look on the right side over here and you'll notice that it actually put it in in its own layer. That means whatever we do to this layer won't mess up our background. We can change it, size it, color it, whatever we wanna do, and I won't mess it up. But it's called layer one, which isn't a great name for it, doesn't tell us what it is. So let's double click it and let's name it tomato eye. In fact, that's his right eye. So I'm gonna put at the end of it an R. So now I know it's his right eye. Now I need to make his left eye and I could go and copy that thing and paste it back in and transform it again, but then I'd have to work with it to really make sure it's the right size. It should be a lot easier if we could just copy that layer, wouldn't it? Well, we can. Just make sure the layer you want is highlighted. You can see this one's highlighted, it's darker. And I'm gonna press Control 
and the letter J. Think of it like it's jumping a copy to a new layer. When I do that, you'll see it says tomato I copy and it's still got the R, but this is the left side now. So we're gonna erase that part that says R and we are going to make it an L. Oops, try that again. We're gonna erase that part and we're gonna make it an L. Now we can move that. We could transform it and you could, you could easily just use the transform tool again, control alt T I just pressed and I could move it where I want and put it there. But if you know you're just gonna move it and you wanna make sure you don't resize it, you can go up to the left side. The very first tool is the move tool. You can click that and then it will move your layer. You can line it up and you might see those little lines popping up. That's it trying to snap it into place. And it does a pretty good job. There you go. Now we've got eyes. Let's give them a nose. I think a carrot nose would be good. So I'm gonna open the carrot that I already saved because I planned this. Okay, so when I select this carrot, I'm gonna use that quick selection tool again. So I'm just gonna go on and pick it and I'm gonna uh, drag inside that carrot. And notice it only picked the carrot. It didn't pick the, the leaves the kind of coming off the top of it. That's because there's a change in color right here. And it's it, these this stuff is pretty much orange. Not exactly the same orange, it's lighter here and it's darker here, but it's trying to match it. So then it gets to here and it's completely a different color. It says, I don't want that. So it didn't select it. I'm gonna copy it. Remember, I can just press Control C. I don't have to do anything fancy and it copies it. I can go back to my potato. I can do Control V. I can transform this now. I could go to edit and free transform but I'm gonna do the shortcut, which is Control Alt T, and I will turn it. And I think that carrot would be funnier if it were stubbier. So I'm gonna grab this side, I'm gonna smash it down. Give him a little stubby nose. Maybe make it a little smaller here. And we're gonna do the same thing with his mouth, which is gonna be some corn. So I'm gonna open, uh, we'll go to the corn. Where are you, corn? There you are. Now notice this corn's on a blue background and you'll notice when we select it, it's gonna have a little blue edge around the outside. For this project, I'm gonna let that go, but later I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that. So we're gonna brush inside here and it did a pretty good job of getting that corn. So we're just gonna do Control C and copy it. And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna do Control V paste it control t oops i did control t not control alt t and it opened another window another tab excuse me i don't want that so i'm going to close it and i'm going to do control alt t if you have a mac that would be con uh, control option t and we're going to make it smaller and we're going to turn it and Put it in the right place. Now he just needs ears and hair and he's done. For his ears, we're gonna use orange slices. Um, and when I open that orange slice, you'll see that I only want half of it, but it's a whole orange. So if I try to do the quick select tool, it selects the whole thing. So I wanna get rid of half of this. Here's how you can do it. Go up here to this other selection tool. This is the rectangle select. And if I just select with it right now, it gets rid of my other selection and it just leaves me the rectangle. I don't want that. What I wanna use the rectangle for is, I wanna tell it wherever I'm highlighting, stop selecting it. Right now there's a selection all the way around this. I only want half. So I'm gonna go up here to these different ways to select and I'm gonna pick subtract, the third one. And now when I draw a box over it, it subtracted that part from the selection and it only has this part. So now I can copy it, Control C, potato, Control V, paste it in, Control Alt T to transform it, get it where I want. 
on the right sides. Oh, he needs bigger ears than that. In our center. And now I'm going to copy it to put on the other side. Remember, we want to jump to a new layer. So we're going to do Control J. And I have that new layer. And if I just try and move it, it's facing the wrong way. That won't work. So let's do Control T instead. Ugh, I did it again. See? Easy to make a mistake. Control Alt T. And drag it over here. And then I could turn it around. But you see how it's, it looks upside down? Like the it's hanging a different way. I want it to look like a mirror image of this one. So let's put it back. And instead of doing that, I'm going to just drag it. And I could drag it really wide. But watch, if you drag past the edge and come over, I'll actually flip it over. And we can put it where we want it. And the last thing he needs is his hair. If you look at the original, you'll see he's got this lovely broccoli hair. So let's do that. Let's open up some broccoli. And for the broccoli, we have another problem. For one thing, we have two different things here. And for another, there's extra stuff. So if we try to use the quick select tool, it selected the entire piece of broccoli. And I don't want the stock, and I don't even want this piece of the green down here. I only want the very top part to be his hair. So I'm going to use a different selection tool. I'm going to use the lasso tool. And again, I'm going to set it to subtract because this top part is nice. We want it how it is. And I'm going to circle around the part I don't want. And down here, easy. You notice I circled way bigger than the actual selection because it's just subtracting it. When you come in here, you might be tempted to be really careful about this. But because it's broccoli and it's kind of bumpy, if you're just kind of bumpy about how you select and move around, it'll work. Bumpy, 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 just moving a little bit. And then when I come down to here, I don't have to be careful anymore. And I can just go down to the end and let go. And now it's only selecting this part up at the top. Control C to copy it. Control V to paste it. Control Alt T to, or Control Option T on a Mac to transform. Resize it, make it fit nicely on his head. Press enter, and we're done. The only thing we have to do now is save it to our computer so we can turn it in. So I'll just go File, and I will click Save As. You can do different ones here. If you save it as a PSD, that's a Photoshop document, it'll keep all of these layers, and you'll be able to edit it later. That's great if you're going to edit it, but it's not so great if you want to use it somewhere, like on a web page or in a... Um, like for your YouTube icon or something like that. So uh, you need to export it if you're going to do that. First, I am going to save it as a Photoshop document. So we have it. And you'll see it saved down here with that same name, Potato. But I also want to save it, export it as, and you could do a JPEG or a PNG. They're different file formats. They have different functionality, but they'll both do what you need to do. So. Usually I do a JPEG, they're usually a little smaller or something like this. So I'll go JPEG and it'll ask how you wanna save it. And it'll ask you the quality it wants to save at. You can leave it how it is and just click save. And there it is, potato. And it's called potato with a one after it here because I already have one called potato in there. So it automatically renamed it. And that's it, magical.